Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services, a video on daily news and editorial analysis which I'll be covering from the Hindu and Indian Express, the important news and editorial that would be relevant for the preparation of civil services examination will be discussed in this session. Let's get started with the news topic list. Today is 24th of August, the first important news that is India support consensus based expansion of the BRICS. We'll see the detail. Second, that is NCF National Curriculum Framework proposes board examination twice a year. Third, that is India seek revival of WTO resolution mechanism. Second last, no end to the shortage of TB drugs. And the last is an editorial needed a well-crafted social security for all. Something very important that will give you a deep insight about the part of reality for the workforce that is operating. Apart from the news and editorial discussion, at the end of this video, there will be MCQ based questions. These questions will be based on current affairs that will help you for the upcoming prelims examination. So without any further ado, let's get started. And before I begin this session, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do hit that like button. And before starting the discussion on the part of the news, I would just like to give you the part of the news that has made all citizens of India proud that the lander has actually reached out to the moon. So moon now is India's orbit. Now India has become the fourth country in the world to reach this milestone after the country like United States, Russia and China. It's a proud moment for each and every individual of Indian citizen. And for examination point of view, I have already made a discussion, both for prelims and mains, you can expect a direct question, how does the lander work, what are the part of the GSLV, you know, MK3, these things are the basic that you need to know. I'm not making a repeated discussion on the part because I have already made a discussion on yesterday discussion, right? So, you the session ko dekh le, and you need to know some of the important trivial point that is important for the examination. That's it. I'll be moving ahead with the today's news affairs. So this was actual image that was released. The moon is India, right? So the landing time was six or five, six or four uh, at the evening. Now moving ahead with the today's news. The first is that India support consensus based expansion for the BRICS. Something important for Jinnah studies paper too. That is bilateral regional grouping and agreement involving India and affecting India's interest. So Prime Minister of India is on a visit to uh, South Africa. Addressing the part of BRICS summit, the Prime Minister has asserted that future ready BRICS and the part of the societies that five countries have need to be future ready, which extend India's support to the expansion of the grouping based consensus. Yesterday also, before leaving to the part of BRICS summit, the Prime Minister has categorically spoke about the BRICS potential and its advantage for the global south. Now, global south has become very significant at this point and even to a larger extent, if you see, sometimes global south pe bhi direct means me sawal puche ja sakte. So you need to be aware of that. Now India is hopeful and proud that the African Union and the permanent member of G20 will be supported by the BRICS member. So African Union ki permanence ki baat ki gayi as a part of the BRICS member. India is fully supporting the part of expansion for the BRICS and welcomes moves to take away for the proposal for the consensus that has to be made from the member countries. Now, intra BRICS corporations, ki baat kare, uh, Prime Minister ne specifically kuch aise areas highlight ki hai to strengthen the part of cooperation. And these five areas include space, education and skill development, skill mapping, shared efforts to protect the big cats. And last but not the least is the traditional medicine. The Prime Minister has expressed the optimism that ki progress ho sake BRICS corporations ki the different domain and vertical that has been highlighted, like area of railways micro, small and medium enterprises and the startups. The welfare of the global south addressing 15th BRICS summit, the prime minister urged the member state to take advantage of India's digital solutions to work for the welfare of the global south. The prime minister is specifically said that BRICS embarked a long and amazing journey in the last two decades, highlighting how the new development bank or the grouping can have an important role in the development activities of the Global South. So if you're writing inmates about the Global South, make sure you are 
recognizing the fact that the new development bank can definitely play a crucial role. India suggested bids are in the part of railway research network cooperation in the micro small and medium enterprises startups this has been significant progress that has been made and india will definitely keep on putting impetus on growing the sectors and verticals now moving ahead with other news ncf proposes board examination twice a year something important for general studies paper 2 that is issues related to development and management of education and human resources so the national curricular framework better known as ncf they have finalized uh, actually the ncf was finalized by the union education ministry which mm-hmm. was known as ministry of hrd earlier they have recommended that class 10 and class 12 board examination will held twice in a year student will be allowed to retain for the best score and something that will lower down for the part of academic pressure that is being handled by the student who is pursuing their class 10 and class 12 board examination now new curriculum framework ki agar baat kare kuch specific highlights hain so this highlight is developed as per consonance with the new education policy or you can say the national education policy kuch important segments mein sari cheezon ko segregate ki gayi hai the first is more language student in the grade 9 and grade 10 will now have to study three languages which will include two indian languages and grade 11 and grade 12 student will have to study two languages which include one indian language this is a part for languages now second come to the school system redesigned for class 10 plus 2 to 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 now what is this the school curriculum is now divided into four stages jahan pe pehli foundational year hogi uske baad preparatory then middle age and then second no textbook till class 1 the government has said that toys puzzle pictures and manipulatives will be there as a teaching material for first 3 years so there will be routine examination that will be held in last 10 year of examination for the board examination that was prepared to offer certifications through the modular examination the promotions of ancient traditional of india will be taken into consideration school to be used local resources for learning including the languages practices expert and histories will be there for the involvement and rich for the illustration in the case of studies so there will be portrayal for the part of indian traditional india has a huge diversity when it comes to the part of culture everything will be accordingly made available to the student as per their grading and as per the learning process Now moving to the other news, India seeks revival of WTO dispute resolution mechanism. Something important for general studies paper two, that is bilateral regional grouping and agreement involving India and affecting India's interest. So India is aiming to seek the revival of WTO defunct and dispute resolution mechanism at the G20 trade investment meeting, which is the Red Chip Chapter, right? now if you talk about the part of dispute resolution mechanism for wto this has been very significant for country like india not only for india but many other countries are also willing that the dispute resolution should come into action which us has been blocking intentionally or unintentionally because they are not allowing the choosing the, the members the complete part of the things that has to be there in proper functioning the proper members body in formation ki gayi hai taki ये जो डिस्प्यूट रेजोल्यूशन मैकेनिज्म है वो फंक्शन कर पाए राइट द रूल बेस्ड मल्टी ट्रेडिंग सिस्टम्स की अगर बात करें इंफोसाइजिंग ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ रूल बेस्ड मल्टी ट्रेडिंग सिस्टम्स इंडिया एम्स टू डीपन इट पास्ट ऑफ एंगेजमेंट एट डब्ल्यूटीओ टू फर्दर वॉइस द डीपनिंग वर्ल्ड एंड बिल्ड अ ग्लोबल कंसेंसस फॉर दीस कंट्रीज नाउ इंडिया व्हाइल एक्नॉलेजिंग द कंट्रीब्यूशंस ऑफ ऑल जी ट्वेंटी मेंबर कंट्रीज जयपुर फॉर कॉल द जी ट्वेंटी मीट प्रमोट एम एस एम ई सेक्टर दैट इज माइक्रो स्मॉल एंड मीडियम इंटरप्राइजेज एंड ब्रिज द गैप टू एक्सपैंड द पार्ट ऑफ ट्रेड अक्रॉस द जियोग्राफीज द प्रायोरिटीज की अगर बात करें इन एक्शन रेफरेंस टू द फाइव प्रायोरिटीज दैट हैज बीन हाईलाइटेड फर्स्ट इज द पार्ट फॉर ट्रेड फॉर द ग्रोथ एंड प्रोस्पेरिटी उसके अलावा रिजिलियन ट्रेड और ग्लोबल वैल्यू चेन की बात की गई है बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट for a country like india which is almost reviving its economy post pandemic integration part of the micro small and medium enterprises in a world trade logistic for the trade india already had 
national logistic policy, right? So this will definitely help to streamline the process. And World Trade Organization reform, something very, very important. And moving to the other news, that is no end to this shortage of TB drugs, something important for gender studies paper too. That is issues related to development and management of health. Now, India is facing acute shortage of tuberculosis drugs. Those are the drugs that are used in tuberculosis treatment. Mein. And specifically medicine that is used for the uh, TB drug resistance. I mean, DRTB, that is basically called, is uh, linozoid, uh, that is colfazamide, and the other is cyclomerize. So these are the drugs that are specifically being used. The union government has actually supplied adequate doses of Rimpapishin as the drug that is used to treat as a multi drug resistance or just say MDR TBB. The state has been asked to procure the drug resistance themselves to an addictive functions when it comes to the part of providing, but the state are not having ample supply and even they are not able to buy most of the drugs and made available to the citizen. And this is creating a problem and the shortfall is even there, the prices problems are there and even the part of supply is a big problems. Now less focus has been there during the pandemic. There was a sharp fall in the part of the cases that were depicted in the part of TB. But TB ki jo drug ki supply hai wo kam hui hai during the pandemic. Uh, the part of the TB notification which was there for the public improvement nearly reaching the pre-pandemic level. The drug procurement and the supply by the union government has not kept pace resulting in the shortage. Now as you know India is a country that has maximum number of the tuberculosis cases. We have 27% of the cases across the globe, followed by China 14% and Russia's Federation 9%. So these countries are having the maximum part of the number for the uh, TB cases. These countries have the maximum number of TB patients, hai, India being the highest. Now moving ahead with the editorial of the day, that is a need to well-crafted social security net for all. Something important for gender studies paper too, that is the welfare schemes for the vulnerable section of the population by the center and the state government. Now in this article, um, in the part of the discussion that has been made and the focus is about the social security scheme for the worker, right? We look into the part that is ignoring the social security. Kis tarah se scheme overseas kaam kar rahi hai, Brazil kis countries mein steps that India need to take. Digitalization under the eShram platform and the way forward. And as per the article, according to the latest periodic force annual survey 2021-22, around 53% of the salaried workforce does not have access to any social security benefits. This is something very astonishing and important concerning for the government of India where 53% of the total population which is salaried workforce has not given any social security benefits. In this effect, it means that such employees have no access to provident fund, pension, health care or disability insurance. Something very important which is very important for any employee's family is very important if they have any problem with any problem with the main earner. Meanwhile, the gig worker or approximately 1.3% of India's active workforce have rarely access to any kind of social security benefits. Now, ignoring social security benefits, Indian policymakers have been largely ignoring the part of social security. Financial year 11, mein batai ki thi, National Security Fund, which was set up for the unorganized sectors. Initial allocation 1000 crore rupees, ki rakhi thi, but the scheme were there for waivers, rickshaw pullers, BD workers, to name few of them were actually under this profession. Comptroller and Auditor General ki audit mein paaye ga, that in financial year 17 only 1927 crore that has been accumulated since inception had not yet been utilized. So you can see the part of the seriousness that is coming out for the part of the utilization that is there for the social security fund. Schemes overseas ke baat kare, Brazil ke ke example hai, you can use this in mains paper also. Brazil general Social security scheme is a contribution base where you substitute ki income losses ki for the worker, for the family and even welfare and the partial or full jaisi zarurat ho si sab se unko compensate ki jati. The cover also is a situation where the accidental work, disability that prevent the working, death, endless medical treatment leads to the part, family burden to prospect the unemployment and even the social security which is mentioned by the ILO 
is actually providing them. The constitution itself established that there is a lack of fund and the national treasury will step in as per the ILO 2030. Now step for India that need to be taken and something concerning immediately need to be taken. The India should aspire to provide social security to all workforce in a manner that physical and administratively feasible because an individual if he is working for a company is the entire family is dependent on it right. So ultimately something must happen take place the company should be giving some part of the leverages to him and even providing the social security benefits. The government must expand the employers and employee contributions at the EPFM Employment Provident Fund is the world largest organization which is looking for the part of the contributions, right? Where the PF or EAP join ki jati hai, unke benefits milte. The government has pushed on the part of code on social security where life insurance, disability insurance, insurance for the part, maternity benefit, ye sari chijo ki benefits di jati hai, when the crash facilities are given for the gig workers. Now, digitalization has become very important. Agar each shram portal ki baat kare, Digitalization has something that has enabled enrollment for almost 300 million workers covering the part of almost 2 lakh cover uh, for the part of accidental insurance or disability ke case mein 1 lakh rupees. Ishram has put in the part of registration for the informal workers where self declarations through Aadhaar is something important or there is no responsible incentive given to the employer to foster the registration. So here we registrations to give a lot of attention so that the benefits are वो मार्जिनलाइज लोग जो हैं जिनको जो उनके प्रॉपर राइट्स हैं वो उनको मिलने चाहिए द डिजिटलाइजेशन हैज टू बी इंक्रीज्ड नाउ देयर इज नो एग्जिस्टिंग स्कीम दैट इज यू नो वर्किंग इन द पार्ट सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट के अगर स्कीम्स की बात करें लाइक ईपीएफ है ईपीआई आई एम इन द पार्ट ऑफ द ईएसआई व्हिच इज देयर एम्प्लॉयमेंट स्टेट इंश्योरेंस एंड देयर इज नेशनल सोशल असिस्टेंस प्रोग्राम दैट हैज टू बी गेट अ बजेटरी सपोर्ट सो दैट द बेनिफिट्स फॉर द मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ पीपल शुड बी गिवन and there should be the real beneficiaries of the uh, welfare programs and policies that central government has actually come up with. Now the way forward there is need for more strict policies when it comes to the awareness. Security is there for the workers and providing the available benefits that is there. The first and foremost thing is providing the awareness. Awareness is something that is very crucial. Organizations such as self-employment association uh, Sakti Kendra, right, that is the worker facilitation centers. Many of them funded and run by the women's uh, social rights. Our government should also offer the benefit to them. India need to aspire to provide the social security net for its workforce in a manner that is physically administered and feasibly working on for the betterment of the society. Moving ahead with the MCQ questions of the day, before I proceed, just to tell you the answers of yesterday's questions. For first question, the correct option is A. For second question, the correct option is C. And moving with the first question of the day, that is Delhi Mental Health Assistance Network across the state. Its objective is to provide free telehealth services all over the country, round the clock, particularly catering the part of people in the remote and unserved area. This is an initiative for Union Ministry for Health and Family Welfare. So do check out for the part of correct option. Sometime a direct question can be framed with regards to the government policies and initiative. Second question of the day is about the post Indianization list. The item on the list has Indian arms will be procured from the domestic manufacturers. The manufacturer should be only the part of the defense public sector undertaking and not the private sector. So these are the capping whether or not that you have to choose for the correct option and look for the correct answer. So this was all about for the daily news and editorial analysis followed by the MCQ questions. If you have any other concern, queries about admissions, test series, courses and program, you can reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to assist you. For time being, I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching this video.